What's up everyone? Hope you're all doing well. Today's video is gonna be about the best new eyeshadows. I've gotten a lot of really wonderful PR lately and you know, I'm pretty picky and pretty hard to please when it comes to makeup, but these formulas have just knocked it out of the park for me and I wanted to put all the eyeshadows in one video rather than like a big new stuff video. I think these eyeshadows really deserve to shine. If you don't know me, I'm Kate, I'm 33. I have a full-time corporate job and so I need makeup that is like really easy to apply that I could practically slap on in the dark and I also like to maintain a smaller collection for a YouTuber. So that means a product has to be really a 10 out of 10 in order to make it into my collection. And my reviews are usually pretty ruthless. So if that sounds like your thing, I hope you'll subscribe. And now let's get into the eyeshadows. When I was considering what product I wanted to start with, there was not a question in my mind because one product stood out to me above the rest. And I would even say it is the best cream eyeshadow of all time, period. These are the new Kulfi Zari Eyes eyeshadow. And I have the shades Bronze Brocade and Sitara Sparkles. This is Bronze brocade and you can see it is a very very whipped kind of moussey cream formula and texture wise it's a cross between the Charlotte Tilbury eyes to mesmerize cream shadow and something really jelly based maybe like the ColourPop jelly mulch shadows but then with a lot of glitter dispersed in here so what you get is a formula that is light as air that just picks up a little bit on a brush so it's sheer when you apply it with a brush but with a finger it is full impact and so you get so much control but it is incredibly beginner friendly. You get so much time to work with these and blend and they're so creamy, but then when they set down after a while, they're incredibly long lasting and they do not budge or crease at all. The Charlotte Tilbury Eyes to Mesmerize formula on me did fade and crease a little bit throughout the day. Somehow these did not and these are almost the same formula, but with a little bit more of like a bouncy jelly quality to them. I don't know how they did it. It's absolutely magical. And the shade Bronze Brocade is just the shade of my dreams. It reminds me a little bit of Ray from Alice Hourglass, which is another one of my all-time favorite eyeshadows. They describe it as a deep champagne with silver reflex, but I would say it's kind of like a brownish gold bronze with silver reflex. And this color just makes my eyes pop like no other eyeshadow. I'm wearing it today on top of a cool tone shadow, uh, Victoria Beckham Pecan, that I'll talk about later. It's just the best. And then I have Sitara Sparkles, which is this gorgeous reflective light pink with silver and light pink glitter. This is one that I can definitely see myself wearing to music festivals and concerts. It's just so fun and so flattering. And a lot of times I'm really intimidated by color. I tend to usually just stick with my typical bronzes and browns and champagne colors that are super easy to work with. But this formula is just so easy to blend. It's so easy to build that it makes me want to reach for colorful shadows. This one just makes me feel pretty and creative and undoubtedly this formula formula is the best cream eyeshadow I have ever tried. Really, there's no competition. That's how good these are. I just, I can't believe it. Like I'm truly, truly blown away. And here are the two shades on the back of my hand. So we have Bronze Brocade and then we have Sitara Sparkles right here. And if you didn't know, I believe Kulfi is the first South Asian brand at Sephora, which is great. I'm just such a huge fan of their concealer, their eyeliners, their long wear cream blushes, and now these. I just, I can't wait to see with what the brand creates next. Really, they have just been knocking my socks off. Another favorite, the Phytosurgeons Flash Fluorescence Eyeshadows. This is from the Celestial Ceremony Collection, which is new. And compared to the other Phytosurgeons cream eyeshadows, these have more sparkle. They're a lot brighter, which is why they're much better for me. And some of the shades are a lot warmer than their collection. One of the issues I have with Phytosurgeons is that their colors are always very cool toned or like very dark. And on me, it just doesn't work for my preferences. But they launched the shade Astral Atmosphere, which has quickly become one of my all time favorite eyeshadows. Someone noticed that the Celestial Ceremony collection from Vitosurgeons is the exact same color story as Rowan 1111. So if you found that the Rowan quad in 1111 really creased on you, try the Phytosurgeons because these are long wearing and they do not budge. At first, when you touch them, they feel like a very thin just kind of emollient balm, like like super thin. It feels very hard pressed. And then you rub it in and it feels like almost nothing on the back of your skin. Phytosurgeons just create some of the most interesting, amazing, innovative formulas I've ever tried. And so I just love how thin these feel. But then when you apply them, they set down. Astral Atmosphere is like a pink with a little bit of orange in it. It's the exact same shade as the Rowan 1111 one, the pink one. And it seems to have a bunch of light pink glitter particles dispersed throughout. It just makes the eyes look 
so bright and so reflective. And I also find that these apply much better with a finger than they do with a brush. And you can go with just a sheer wash of color over your lids or you can really build it up for a lot of shine and it's super metallic. The only thing is make sure to keep these little pads in the lid because otherwise these eyeshadows do dry out very quickly and make sure to really, really tighten the lid so that doesn't happen. The next shade is Crystal Constellation, which is kind of like a taupe with a little bit of a dirty bronze in there a little bit of like a dirty brown. It's actually more cool toned than Defiant Dahlia, if you've ever tried that. And it has a bunch of silver sparkles in it. So Crystal Constellation for me makes a really good kind of going out, slightly grungy shadow. When I don't want something too in your face, but I want it to be a little bit more on the cool toned side. And like, it's a little bit of that like dirty look that I really appreciate. It's very much a kind of lived in shadow. And then I have the shade Starlight Symphony, which you can see here is just a classic shade champagne with champagne glitter. So you can use it as a sheer kind of wash of color base. You can apply it on top of other shadows as a glitter topper. It's just really beautiful, adds a lot of light to the lids. The kind of shadow that just looks really great with a bold lip. And here are some quick swatches. So we have Astral Atmosphere right there. You could see it's kind of like a pinky orange. Then we have Crystal Constellation right here, that slightly cool toned dirty bronze. And then we have Starlight Symphony up here, which is that champagne glitter topper. Oh my God, this weather is insane. I've completely lost my light now and it is just totally unpredictable. We have not had a damn day of sunshine since like December and it is honestly starting to really affect me, I gotta say. So I apologize that now it looks like nighttime and it's only 1 p.m. Real quick, one thing I love about phytosurgeons is transparency, especially on their Instagram. They show you a lot of behind the scenes of what it's like to make the products and I think that's really cool. They're also an LGBTQ Asian owned small business based in Canada. So it's one that I love supporting. Okay, the Victoria Beckham I wear eyeshadow sticks. They sent me all of the shades, so I'll review each and every one for you. And I did do a real eye swatching all of them, so I will link that on the screen above if you want to see what they all look like individually. Today I'm wearing the shade Pecan in the Crease, which is a matte brown, and I'll show you in the clip. This is the one that's a little bit stiff to apply, and it can get a little bit patchy, so I'm actually going to be decluttering this one. I'm wearing it today, and I just like had a lot of trouble blending it, but it's that perfect shade if you want a matte brown that's a little bit more on the cool side. Like There's definitely a little bit of purple in there, especially once it's on my eyes. It's just a fantastic smoky color. I think you just shouldn't buy this shade in particular if you're more of a beginner. And same thing with bottle green, and I'll show you on the back of my hand. So pecan and bottle green were the two shades from the Victoria Beckham Eyewear line that I found a little bit stiff, patchy, and difficult to blend. And even though the B-roll clips I was filming was purely just to show eye swatches, I wasn't going for a super blended, perfected look. You can definitely see that I was having a little bit of trouble blending, even as I was just doing an eye swatch video. But the five other shades are absolute perfection. They're super, super creamy. They're pigmented and a lot of them have a lot of white in them and yet they're not patchy at all. They apply beautifully smooth and even. And I find that that's really hard to do, especially for pastel shades. Trench is almost the same color as my skin. So it's a great eyeshadow base, but I just don't really reach for colors like this. So I will be passing it on, but it is kind of like a neutral light beige. Would make a great base if you have skin like I have, or it would make a great slightly defined shade if you're super, super fair. But the rest are my favorites from the line, starting with my favorite shade, which is Sunflower. I was really excited to see Victoria Beckham launch this shade range and include two matte colors that are bright pops of color. I think that's a really nice departure for the brand, and it shows that they're kind of trying to step outside the box and modernize the brand a little bit while still remaining true to the sophistication of Victoria Beckham. And Sunflower is just a beautiful, bright, lemony, warm, yellow matte shade shade. It's so easy to wear. I can't wait to rock this festival season this year. It's so much fun. The formula is so creamy, so easy to blend. The pigment is so smooth that it doesn't make me feel intimidated to wear color. And I feel exactly the same way about the shade Macaroon. It's just this beautiful lavender meets pink shade that is so easy to wear, so easy to blend. Again, the pigment is super even. And with this formula, it's incredibly creamy and you get tons and tons of time to blend before they set. But once they set, they don't budge. Again, Again, with the exception of bottle green and pecan, those were really stiff and hard to blend and they were very patchy. But these shades in particular are fantastic. My next favorite shade from Victoria Beckham is Oyster, which is a beautiful warm toned silver. And it seems a little bit warm to me because even though it's a silver, which is typically cool tone, I feel like there's a little bit of gold in there or like a little bit of sometimes a slightly yellow tint to it. So it's kind of like a warm silver. It's incredibly wearable and it's perfect for me when I wanna go for more of like a Phoebe Bridger's eye. 
Shout out to my girl wearing my Phoebe Bridgers shirt right now. And this one's a metallic, so it's beautifully shimmery. It's not super impactful like the Phytosurgeons or the Kulfi eyeshadows. It's just a soft, sophisticated metallic. And then the last shade we have is Caramel, which is a gorgeous bronze with a little bit more of like a gold metallic sheen. It's a lot darker than I was expecting from the marketing images, but I think it's really beautiful. And because it's a little bit darker than I was expecting, will be a little bit more inclusive and universally flattering. It's great when I want to smudge it all over the lid and lower lash line for a quick bronze smoky eye. You can really build it up and smoke it out, or you can keep it pretty appropriate for daytime. Anyways, here are the swatches. So we have the shade Caramel right here, which is that kind of brown bronze with some gold metallic. We have Oyster, which is that warm silver. Macaroon, which is that light pink with like a hint of lavender. Sunflower, which is a bright, warm, lemony yellow. And these two are matte and caramel and oyster are metallic. Bottle green, I forgot to describe, but it's a very dark, deep forest green with some kind of gold flecks shining through it. And it's not as metallic as caramel or oyster, but it is not a matte. And then we have pecan, which is that matte brown. It looks a little bit more warm right now. On my eyes, it actually looks pretty cool toned. So it probably depends on your skin. And so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. I have the cool fee shadow and bronze brocade on my eyes here. And then in the outer corner, I have um, Victoria Beckham Pecan. You could see it's a lot more cool tone than it appeared on my hand. Let's talk Armani eye tints. Now I know that they had these for years and years and years. So I'm not sure if it's a reformulation. I thought that they had them in this exact packaging for years, but some people said they were reformulated. I'm not so sure, but either way, these are great and they're new to me. My favorite shades are 20, 22, 44, and 9. Let's start with the shade 20. And 20 is right here. It's a matte kind of sandy orange brown. It's the same shade as Nude Sticks Terra, the old ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in Desert. So definitely more of a beige that leans orange. And this formula is just amazing. These are on the more sheer side, but unlike the Glossier Sky Washes that were sheer in a really patchy way that was hard to blend and they just looked crumbly and horrible, these are sheer in a way that is so smooth. The pigment is even. They're beginner friendly. So if you're new to liquid eyeshadows and you're a little bit intimidated, these are the perfect option to start with. And they're super thin and super creamy and you get tons and tons of time to blend them before they set. And then once they set, they don't budge and they don't crease. They're just very long wearing and they're very beautiful. I also love the shade 22, which is a matte as well. And 22 is right here next to 20. 22 is much more of a neutral matte brown. Love wearing 22 all over the lid. Blended up to the crease and on the lower lash line as a one and done smoky shadow. But it's never too smoky because the formula is a little bit sheer. The shade 9 is a really interesting one. Sephora describes it as a champagne and I think it's called cold copper. It's definitely not a copper shade. It's kind of like a very 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 light bronze. I think champagne is not correct because champagne generally tends to have a little bit of yellow in it. This is more just like a really 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 light shimmery beige. And then 44 is rose gold, which they describe as a soft nude. And that's what it looks like on my hand. Definitely a beautiful kind of light sheer rose gold shade. What I like about the Armani eye tints is just that they're so beginner friendly because they're sheer, but you can build them up. So I would say the Armani eyeshadow tints are probably best for someone who either loves a luxury brand or is new to liquid shadows or new to blending eyeshadow because they're just so difficult to mess up. And lastly, I have two powder eyeshadows from Jones Road. Jones Road offered to send me two eyeshadows and I picked rose gold and copper, which I did not realize look almost identical. So this is the shade copper from Jones Road and it doesn't look like a copper to me whatsoever. Copper to me is like a penny color that has a lot more orange in it and a little pink. This is just a yellow gold. And then we have the shade rose gold here, which is definitely more of like a lighter rose gold shade, but again, a little bit more of like a classic kind of beigey rose gold color rather than like a super saturated one. So we have copper here and rose gold here. And this was like four layers of color. So you really really want to go for these eyeshadows just if you want like a no makeup makeup kind of vibe, but they're super easy to apply. My only complaint would be that these pans are freaking huge. Like I do not need eyeshadows that are this big compared to my Mac. See the size comparison for me personally I just like rarely go through a full eyeshadow and I haven't compared the price per ounce um, So that is really important, but this is 2.8 grams or 0.09 ounces if anyone was wondering That's it. Those are all my favorite new eyeshadows Let me know if there's something that launched recently that you think I'd like or that you think we should all know about Definitely drop that in the comment section if you made it this far I hope you'll subscribe and give the video a thumbs up It really helps my channel grow and wherever you are. I hope you're having an awesome day and I'll see you in the next one.